Hey guys, it's super effective here with another NS2 Intel update. The series which covers the updates of Natural Selection 2. Here you can get the latest intel on the most notable gameplay adjustments, new additions, and things to look out for. The full change log will be linked in the description for your review. The community development team has been hard at work on build 267 and has produced a mighty list of updates including some nice performance improvements, many UI enhancements, and some small map tweaks. So strap in because there is a ton of stuff to go over. You can now set the VRAM value in the options menu. For users that have less than 2GB of memory on their video card, setting this to be as close as possible to the amount of memory on your graphics card might help reduce the hitching you may have previously experienced in NS2. Another new experimental option has also been added that can improve late game performance on some computers. Try out the multi-threaded physics option to see if this helps you out. Let us know on the forums if you have experienced any improvements. The Organize Play button on the main menu has been replaced with Quick Join. The Quick Join function has been improved to take into account player skill, rookie friendly mode, favorites, performance, game mode, player count, and reserve slots. The skill system is now based on community member Multano's proposal. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to find out more. The performance column on the server browser now shows the average server tick rate instead of the current. The skill column now displays different symbols that better represent the players in that server. You can roll over them to see a tooltip of what they mean. We have added a warning message for rookie players attempting to join servers with more than 24 player slots. Please understand that NS2 was not designed for player counts beyond 24, and this is intended to set reasonable gameplay and performance expectations to these players. When you drop a weapon, it will now be thrown with a little bit of force to help with overlapping weapons. The dropped weapons will also have different colored outlines, weapon specific ammo models, and an expiration bar. Mines will now show a blue or yellow outline to spectators depending on if it has been parasited. The grenade launcher will now use its own icon in your inventory and buy menu. A new hit sound has been added to indicate when you've hit a target. Its volume is adjustable in the options. The pitch of the sound is based on shotgun accuracy, railgun charge, and the number of players hit by a xenocide. The sound itself can be customized by mods. The whip's AI has been improved to attack their targets more reliably. The max will now avoid the face of a player when welding them or when following them. Max and arcs will now exit from the inside of the robotics factory. The infantry portal now shows the progress and name of spawning players. The armory and infantry portal arms will no longer block bullets. The phase gates and gorge tunnels will now always show the name of the destination. Gorge tunnels will also show its owner when looking directly at it. Marines who have picked up a catalyst pack will now show a purple outline to commanders and to spectators. Alien players will be able to see the progress of gestating teammates and what type of egg it is, except if it is a skulk egg. The Marine Commander UI now shows the number of Marines currently respawning. The kill feed now highlights your enemy player kills. It also scales with resolution. Lurks will now see damage numbers for the poison bites damage over time. When a structure bleeds out, the kill feed will credit the kill to the last player who dealt damage to it. Past votes now take effect immediately instead of running down the timer. Jetpacks will now show up on the scoreboard, thanks to Wisecrack. The Marine Scan Sweep icon on the map has been fixed to better reflect the scan range. The Alien's Bone Wall icon will now display on the minimap. Marine structures on the minimap now update properly when being recycled or power surged. Rookie player names will now show green on the map for teammates. Ready Room Special mod has been integrated to allow Skulks to leap and Fades to blink. Eggs can explode and exosuits can eject with the G key. The game has been fully translated for French, German, Russian, and Spanish. Check them out in the options menu. I will leave a link in the description where you can help translate for other languages. The tutorial has been fixed, so new players who are having difficulty before should check that out. Vale had gorge tunnel placements added to the elevator in Overlook and the corridor between Dome and C12. 
Kodiak now has a bridge cover in central biosphere and noticeable changes near upper rapids. And finally, Tram had gorge tunnel placements added to the elevator in elevator transfer. That about wraps it up for this Intel update. Please leave any feedback or bug reports on the official NS2 forums. The community development team would love to hear from you. Don't forget to spread the word because there has never been a better time to play NS2. Until next time, see you all on the next respawn.